previously on Scary Survival. What are these guys? They look like divine gems, but multicolored. Let's try crafting something. Whoa, whoa, what just happened? Why is it glowing? What is that? Whoa, it's glowing. The table is glowing. In three, two, one. Whoa, what is that? Whoa. Some sort of magical thing? Can we put it down? Whoa. What is this? Wait, Testy, what are you doing? Testy, put that down. It could be dangerous. Huh? Whoa, Testy, what's going on? That's the last of our stuff. Wait a minute. What is he doing? What is that? What is this thing? Testy, what did you do? Testy, what do you do? Testy! No, no. Why, what? I can't break it. Not only does he work for Hades, but so does the scientist. And now they have potentially what is the most dangerous thing to ever enter this world. Hey, what's up guys? EY Stream here with another episode of the Scary Survival Season 2. And today I'm going to be doing everything in my power to break out of this place. Track down Test Eve and stop him from delivering the other Thormacon into Hades' hands. Because if Hades gets this, there will be unprecedented levels of destruction never before seen in Minecraft, which could mean the end of Minecraft for everyone. And more importantly, the end of Testive, my best friend. But I can't do this alone, guys. I need you to support. So guys, if you want to do what's right and you know what the right thing is to do, guys, go ahead, support, drop a like down below. We're going for 10,000 likes to save Testive and to save Minecraft. Make sure to subscribe, and here's the most important part, guys. I really am legit. I can't do this alone. We are a team, and only as a team will we be able to defeat Hades, save Minecraft, and save Test Eve. So, guys, make sure you join my team to do the right thing by hitting that bell right now, turning on notifications, ding, 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 to never miss an upload, so you can do your part in saving Minecraft. And, of course, guys, if you have no idea why this situation is so dire, you can watch the previous episodes by hitting the little eye, top left or right hand corner, or by hitting the link in the description below. But I've done enough talking. We need to get out of here. It's time to start problem solving. So here's what we know. After Testive went haywire, he placed down this thing. Some sort of a magical, mystical, ancient looking block thingy with these weird symbols all over it. When he placed it, I suddenly became unable to break anything. I can't break this and I can't break the wall. I can't break the floor. I literally cannot break anything. It's made me totally useless. So I've been thinking, if I can't break it through natural means, then perhaps I could break it some other way. Because you see, this is definitely not natural to Minecraft. I don't know about you guys, but I have not seen this in my everyday survival world. So maybe to destroy it, we need something not natural to Minecraft. I don't know exactly what, but there is plenty of things in here that definitely do not look natural and surely something in this room might be able to set us free. I think the best place to start here, guys, is looking at the Thormacon, the one we kept from Test Eve, which he doesn't know about, but might be our only hope of getting out of here. The scientist's special research notes. Let's take a look. So, we did this last episode. We did this thing. We made this yellow needle. Perhaps there's got to be something that can get us out. Oromancy. This says stage two out of three. Maybe this could help us? What's this? Slowly but surely, I am beginning to understand the nature of this. So much is still hidden to me, but I think now I know enough to begin molding it to my will. To my will. If we could use the power of the viz, which are the matter gems, we might be able to break that thing. At least the scientist seems to think so. Let's keep reading the scientist's notes. A very special tool. I've stumbled upon some dusty scrolls penned by a long dead thaumaturge. That is a big, I have no idea what that was. It describes how to craft ones that are used to store and channel viz. The insights I learned from the scrolls were very useful. Why trap viz in a wand, even when it is all around you? Even the wand itself seems impractical to me. If 
You need something to grasp and shape the aura. It should be something appropriate, like a glove. Any old glove will not do. It needs to be handcrafted from the finest leather and laced with a viz conductive materials. Iron is a poor viz conductor, but it is all I have available to me at this time. Luckily, there will be no mucking about with magical woods and so forth to store viz. But I will need some way of channeling viz directly from the aura, a viz resonator, if you will. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a lot of big words here, but essentially, I think the scientist was trying to make some sort of viz hand glove thing. I don't know. There's like two things here. This viz resonator, which we can make using an iron plate and some quartz. And then what's this? A caster's gauntlet, which uses the viz resonator and a thermometer. And it looks like some sort of fist thing. And a fist breaks things, right? But if this fist can use the power of the divine gems, perhaps we can use it to break that weird mystical block over there. How do we craft these? So this viz resonator, we need iron plate, which we can use iron ingots to make, and nether quartz. What about the caster's gauntlet? We need more iron ingots, we need leather, we need a viz resonator, and we need a thermometer, which we make using the gold ingots. And I believe all these crystals down here are the ones we have to put in that magical crafting table thing. Yeah, see, this one has an air viz, an aqua viz, and this has all of them. So we need a lot of things, and really we're relying on the fact that these chests have those things, but what other hope do we have? We need to start looking for stuff. All right, let's check this chest. Oh, okay, well, first thing off is leather. There's also a bunch of crystals in here. I don't know which ones we need, but I guess we may as well take all of them for now, and hopefully some of them will come into hand. So Ignis, da-da-da-da-da. Oh, we could definitely use some bread so I'm not hungry. Um, oh, and some wood and some cobblestone. These are just things that might actually be able to help me, guys. Alright, we'll grab that. What about in this chest here? Uh, oh, more cobblestone. We can definitely use with all these items, guys, since especially, uh, Test Eve took everything we had. Now, there's some sand in here. Do we need... Oh, right, glass for the thermometer. Let's go ahead and take that. We'll need the bread. I honestly don't know what half these crystals are, but I guess it's worth taking them just in case we do need them. I don't know what these file things are, but... If we need them, at least we know they're in here. What about in here? Oh my goodness! Diamonds! Thank goodness! We definitely need those so we can at least make a diamond sword or something to protect ourselves in case we come against anything else. Coal. We can use that to uh, burn the sand. That's perfect. And then a bunch more of these crystal things here, guys. Uh, we'll take all of those. I don't know if they're going to be any use or helpful to us, but they're worth taking as well as that. And more quartz. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got all of this stuff. What? Is that everything we need, though? Like, I feel like Ooh, we still need gold. We can make the glass using the sand. And we need iron as well. We don't have gold or iron. Are there any more in these chests here, guys? Let's check. Mm, no gold or iron in... Oh, there's some iron in here. Okay, so we've got iron, but we still need gold. Wait. Are those gold ingots? These look like iron ingots. Can I dig them up? Oh, whoa, I can. Look at this. And that gave me six. So, wait, wait. There's a gold pile over here. Can we just dig this up? <gasps> Look at that, guys. Gold ingots. Perfectly. Five. And I think we only need four, so that should top us off. Now all we need are a few more of these viz crystals, because I remember saying that we needed at least one of every type. And I'm not sure if we have every type yet, but uh, we may as well. Oh, my goodness. Lots of stuff in here. Okay, we'll just take all of that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, cool. And then... Oh, another chest over here, guys. Oh, my goodness. More diamonds, more bread, more sand. Fantastic. We can definitely use all these resources, especially after we got completely depleted last episode. Okay, grab all of that. Don't know if we need all of that, but, I mean, it's certainly worth a shot taking all of these. So, we've got all the stuff we need to make the magical items, but first, I kind of want to just make some regular old items to protect myself in case anything comes up. Stuff that I actually know how to use. So we'll go ahead, we'll chuck our crafting table down here, guys, and just making things like, you know, a sword and some armor, a pickaxe, you know, just those basic things that right now I don't have because Test Steve took all of them. Um, let's go ahead, we can use, definitely use a sword. So a sword, a pickaxe, what else? We could probably use the last of these diamonds to just make some armor, but at the same time, oh, I gotta be a little bit careful. I don't wanna use up all the diamonds just in case I do need them for something else. So we'll just, we'll make some boots and a chest plate. I think that will be all I use for now. And then also, guys, um, some torches as well, just in case we get caught in darkness. Okay, boom, torches, bang. And then we could also make a bucket just in case. I believe there was a, I saw some water in here before. Um, was it in this room in here? Oh, right here. Perfect. Okay. Good. 
So, I'm feeling a little bit more prepared, guys, if anything tries to jump us. But now we need to try making those magical items. So if we come in here, first things first, this Viz Resonator. We need iron plate and quartz, and to make iron plates, we do that. So, let's give this out. Can we just do this in a regular crafting table? Iron plates? Oh, we can. Okay, so we've made iron plates, and then to make the Viz Resonator, we put the iron plates in in the quartz. Uh, it's not working. Did I miss something? Wait, let's check the Thormicon here again, guys. Iron plate, nether quartz. Oh, and there's this thing called Viz Cost, and an Air Viz, and an Aqua Viz. Oh, and it says here at the top, we need to use an arcane workbench. Wait, is that that magical crafting table that we left upstairs? Oh, no, we can't get up there. That was the thing we put the magical dust on, guys, and it turned the crafting table into, like, this fancy thing. Wait, there's one right there. Is this it? Okay, yes. This is the magical crafting table that we made upstairs. Now, if everything goes to plan, according to the Thormicon that the scientist created, guys, we place one iron plate there. One quartz here, and then we grab the, was it Air Viz? What, which one is that? Oh, I remember there being a blue one. There was definitely one Aqua one. And then Air Viz, Air Viz. Which one is that? Oh, it's this yellow one in here. <gasps> there it is, guys. A Viz Resonator. We made it. Oh, my. Whoa, check that thing out. It looks crazy magical, and I honestly have <laughs> no clue what this thing does at all. But we made it. Kudos to us. So now we've got this, we should be able to make the caster's gauntlet. Now for this, we need what? Three iron ingots across the top, leather down the sides, viz resonator in the center, and a thermometer down the bottom. And then we also need to use every single type of viz crystal. All right, let's do this. So every single viz crystal we'll put here on the outside of the table. Oh, but we're going to need to make a thermometer first. And for that, we're going to need glass. And for that, we're going to need a furnace. All right, crafting table out here. Let's make a furnace real quick. And then we'll grab our furnace, chuck it down here. Boom. And now we need to make some glass. Sand in the top, coal in the bottom, and now we wait. And... Six glass, boom. Okay, cool. Now we should be able to turn that into glass panes. Yep, all right, glass pane. And then we should chuck that in here. Now, if I'm correct in memory, glass pane in the center and then the gold ingots go around it. Yeah, all right, thermometer, chuck that in the bottom. Leather down the two sides, iron across the top, and then the viz resonator goes in the center. Oh, we did it! Check that out, guys! The caster's gauntlet. We got it, we got it! Oh my goodness, what is this? Thing? We can wear it, where's our fist? Okay, I don't know what kind of magic powers this thing is, but right now it's making me look beautiful. That's its current magic power. Can we do anything with it? Can we break things with it? Um, I don't understand. It doesn't seem to be doing too much. Is there something we're missing? Let's check the Thormicon here again, guys. Oromancy, we can now click complete. Okay, so we're done, but now what? So I read this, and it's a bunch of big, confusing scientific notes here from the scientists, but basically, I think I can click this thing here that says Oromancy, click here, and I need to craft this thing called a blank lesser focus, and that will go inside my caster's gauntlet. I think. Once again, guys, the scientist uses very confusing language, which I don't really understand, but I think we need to craft this, and to do that, we need to chuck an Autoviz into the Crucible, and then combine it with Oram, Presentio, and Vertrius to make this. Now, the crucible, which we remember from last episode, guys, was this thing over here. And we need to put those things in there. <laughs> I'm hoping, guys. So we need to chuck these things in first and then chuck the crystal in. So what has all three of those things? Does anything I have? That has a lot of stuff in it, but I can't throw the book in there, guys. Hmm. And I don't want to chuck the caster's gauntlet in there either because we just made that. But I'm not seeing anything. Maybe something else in one of these chests here, guys, is everything we need. What do, what do we need again? Oram, Presentio, Vitreus. Let's check again. Do we have any of those things in here? Oh, diamonds have Vitreus. Okay, that's good. So we've got one done. It's just random glass files, and they don't have anything on them. Oh, whoa. This has Presentio and Vitreo. Okay, so we've got two out of the three. What was the other one we need? Oram. What do you think has Oram here, guys? Or Viz Crystals. Okay, cool. So, we need to chuck one of these things in. We may as well chuck two in for good measure. And then a few of these things in. Wait, I think there's a number, actually. It says five. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. 
And then we need to chuck an auto viz crystal. Do we have one of those? Those are one of like the OG divine gems. Maybe perhaps in one of these chests. Ah, uh, I don't see anything in here. Oh wait, no. I think we put it in the table. Whew, okay, yes. We do still have auto viz crystals left at the table. I was worried we were missing the final thing to solving this whole problem. So let's give this a go, guys. I should only just have to place it in. That should give us the blank lesser focus. Let's give it a go in three, two, one, plump. Oh my, <laughs> I missed. All right, we'll try that again. Three, two, one, down we go. Boom. Is that doing anything? Guys, we got it. It came. The blank lesser focus. All right, we've done it. Now, if we enter into the Thormacon here, we should be able to, yes, complete. Bang. And now we need to use this focal manipulator and examine fire closely together. And there's also all this text. All right, I'm going to read this and try and figure it all out and then we'll move on. Okay, guys, I read through as much of the scientist's notes as I could understand. Let's just say it's all very, very, very confusing. But here's this thing. There's this thing called Earth. And basically, the blast of Earth and rock created by the effect packs a significant punch. It is even powerful enough to break blocks made from weaker materials. Here's the important part. It can break blocks, right? That is a block. We should be able to break it using this earth touch. And the way you make it, according to the book, is we grab the Terra Viz here, and we need to infuse it with this blank lesser focus, and then put it in the caster's gauntlet, which then we can shoot the thing out of that. Very confusing, I know. The scientist is big brain. But I think to infuse it, we use this table over here. Okay, so we open this. Now we put this in here, and we've got these. Air, earth, and fire. So I think we need to click touch here, and then we click earth, and I need an air viso and a terra crystal. We've got a terra crystal, but I'm currently missing the air viso crystal. Oh my goodness. Guys, look. The focus is like floating in there. That's crazy. That's so cool. Okay, now I just need to find an air viso crystal. It's got to be on one of these chests somewhere. I'm going to take a look around and see if I can find it. Mm, not in that chest. Maybe in here. Okay, this is going to take a bit of time, guys. Okay, I found a few of them in the chest. There weren't many, guys, so we're going to have to ration these ones. But now that we've done this, we can start crafting. What's going on? Whoa, what was that? Look at that, guys. Do you see that? The little crystals appeared, like, shining around, and then it made this thing. Now we should just be able to pick it up. Blank lesser focus. Viz cast per one. Touch earth power. Okay, we've done that. And now if we hold this, guys, we can select it. And now it's inside our fist. Okay, we've done it, guys. Yes. All right. So we've got the earth focus in here. And now if I read the book correctly, we should just be able to punch this. And it'll break it. I don't know, guys. Here's to us freeing ourselves and getting to test, Steve. In three, two, one, bang. Whoa, what's going on? And we're free. It opened up. Fantastic. We're going to get out of here, guys. What? What's going on? Whoa, what's going on? Why do I have poison? Is that testing? But he looks all broken or something. Wait, I think he's trying to kill me with the, with the poison. We need to take him out. Wait, he's not moving. He's not doing anything. That is not testing. What is that thing? What is that right there? Yo, what's that? We need to follow it, guys. Quick. Wait, I can't see anything, guys. What's going on? What's going on? I barely have any hearts. Where did that, where did that thing go? It was like somewhere over here, but I can't see anything, guys. Where did it go? We've lost it. Quick, we need to follow, we need to follow, but I gotta be really careful here, guys. I am literally on one heart. Okay, up we go, up we go. Where did it go? Do you guys see it? It's not in here. Maybe it went up to the surface. We need to follow that thing. It was testing for me. It came out of that cube. Where did it go? That thing might lead us to testing, might lead us to Hades. And it's loose. Over there, over there, guys, look. Right there, looking out into the ocean. What is that thing? What is it doing? Where is it going? Wait, guys, it's just flying over the ocean. It's just disappearing. What is that thing? We need to follow, we need to follow it, but I can't follow that just swimming, guys. I'm not fast enough. We need to get a boat, we need to get a boat. I need to get to the crafting table downstairs and make a boat. I know we're losing valuable time here, guys, but we don't have any other option. If I swim, I'll never catch up to that thing, but maybe in a boat, I might have a chance. Whatever that is, that thing is important and it could help us solve this. Okay, where's the crafting table? Can we use this to make a boat? I hope we can. Can we? Okay, boom, spruce boat, bang. And wait a minute, it went in this direction? Maybe if we grab, wait, we'll just grab both these maps, guys. They could be useful. Okay, quick. Is it on this map? Wait, it's in the bottom corner there, guys. Wait, oh, grab the other one. Quick, 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 quick. 
If we open up the- I can't see anything, let me in, I need to see! Okay, wait guys, look, there's something in the bottom left-hand corner of this map. Right, right there. Okay, let's check this map. <gasps> wait guys, there it is! There's something going across the ocean! That is that! That is that thing we saw! It's moving across the ocean! We need to follow, we need to follow it. Okay, quick, get the boat down. Go, go, go! That thing could lead us to Test Eve, it could be Test Eve, or more importantly, it could lead us to Hades. We cannot afford to lose that, guys. Okay, it's moving across the ocean. We've just got to keep following it. Go, go, go. 